Hey guys, it's your Elvis obsessed quirky and makeup artist friend Kat Sketch here who also loves Tim Burton. Today we're going to do a crazy makeup transformation. We are going to do a twist on the movie Beetlejuice. It's one of my all time favorite Tim Burton films. If you don't know what it is, girl, I feel bad for you. I'm sad for you. Actually excited as well because it's so good that it's like I wish I could empty that part of my brain out and rewatch it. It's so good. But there's this character in there named Lydia Dietz, and I have not turned into her yet, so we're gonna turn into her today. And not just do Lydia Dietz, but a creepy twist, because maybe you're like me and you're brainstorming for Halloween. We could do Lydia Dietz, we're definitely gonna do that. But then, right here, we are going to hand paint her camera that she's known to take pictures of ghosts in the movie with shrimp hands. If you've seen the movie, you understand the shrimp hands holding the camera. I'm so nervous because I love Tim Burton so much that I hope I don't screw these up. Let's put a wig cap on because I'm definitely gonna have a wig later. And if you've noticed on my arm, I've talked about this on my Instagram stories, I am breaking out. No, it's not a creepy disease or anything like that. It's not ringworm. I do suffer from contact dermatitis, which is a skin allergy reaction to something that I wore that was not washed properly in baby wash or safe detergents. If I even borrow someone else's sweater, I'll be suffering. But we'll be fine. We're gonna get through it, just so you guys don't freak out about my body. So I'm just gonna prep my skin with all of the primers and moisturizers. First, we're gonna moisturize. This is the Phenomenal Gel by Beauty, Pixie Beauty. Just because I have super dry skin and I want a really good base, you can use any moisturizer that works for your skin type. And then I'm also gonna go in with this e.l.f. Dewy Primer. I've been loving this stuff. It smells wonderful, like Sour Patch Kid watermelon candies. It it's, feels sticky at first, but it's doing its job of adhering to your skin so the foundation will have something nice and tacky to grab onto. I also go in, this is a lot, I know, with the pore filling primer. If you're going out for Halloween, you want the makeup to probably last and look flawless. And with the Lydia Dietz makeup, you don't have to do all the body paintings and stuff I'm gonna do, but I like to put this on my T-zone in areas that have big pores, like right here and on my forehead. Now to make my skin look a couple shades lighter than I usually have it, I'm gonna get a Mayron cream blend stick and I'm gonna get that with a damp beauty sponge and just tap that into my skin. As you can see, this is a lot lighter than my skin, which is good for this. I would go a shade or two lighter than your natural color or you don't even have to do that honestly, you could just have your skin tone. Maybe that's better. But I really wanted to look pale like my winter color. This is probably basically just my winter color when I'm not going outside to the beach during the summers. We're just making sure to blend that all over your face and I'm gonna blend it down my neck as well. I'm also gonna put it on my ears just in case you can see my ears under my wig. I'm not sure, so just covering all my bases and on my eyes as well. I'm not gonna put any concealer down. I know that sounds weird, but I'm just gonna put a little bit more of this foundation because you know, Lydia Dietz doesn't have like high cheekbone contoured for the gauze and a deep bronzer. Like what's really popular with today's makeup trends and looks up on the Instagram. Uh, but I totally believe that Lydia Dietz would be such an Instagram e-girl. She would be like the beautiful Instagram goth queen. I'm just gonna get a little bit of a peachy tone blush. We're gonna use this a little bit on our cheeks and on our lips as well. And before I do that, I wanna make sure I have some lip balm on my lip so we don't have crusty, dusty <laughs> lips. Just getting the other side of my beauty sponge and I've been obsessed with cream blushes lately because they look so natural. Why did I whisper that? They look so natural. I'm getting more lighter foundation because I feel like she looks a little too warm still. For Lydia Deeds looking so natural, this is a lot of foundation. Before my foundation starts to crease, I'm gonna go in with some RCMA No Color Powder just to make sure that we set all this for some shadows. And we make sure that nothing creases or transfers. I'm too scared to put like translucent or 
non-translucent skin tone powder because I don't want her to have life or color in her face because it's a Tim Burton character. And you want to put powder anywhere you're going to put maybe contour or other powders. You want to put liquids on first and powder. Yes. She's a matte queen. Making sure to put more lip color on. These are just the blushes. Now for Miss Lydia's eyebrows. She has very straight across eyebrows. Mine have an arch that I built into them. <laughs> And Miss Lydia Deeds in Beetlejuice, she has thicker eyebrows that will make her look younger. If I could grow eyebrows like Winona Ryder who doesn't age and she's like, isn't she either almost 50 or in her 50s and she literally looks like she could be in her late 20s still. I'm going in with this dark brow pencil from Sigma Holy Grail brow pencil right here. Then I'm going to start filling in my brows, especially right here and more straight across. Then getting rid of that arch I have. Pretending like I have brow hairs here. Again, I'm using the Sigma one, the fill and blend. You can use any brow pencil. A great drugstore one is, yes, the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. Amazing. This is what I call like an everyday boy brow, even though... Technically, I'm a girl, but I like the straight across brows to make myself look younger and for characters. It just works. To really make these brows pop off, I'm going to get some brow gel. All these mascara wands, I don't know what it is about the device they put in these, but if it's brow gel or mascara, they have too much product on this in my opinion. So I wipe it off on the edge and I'm just going to brush through these to make them look a little more realistic and hopefully throughout the night if I'm going to a Halloween party they'll last longer. Alright guys now it's time to smoke out the eyes just a little bit to make it have the Tim Burton effect what I call it. You know the tired looking shadowy smoky eye looks that Tim Burton gives to all of his characters including some of the actors in his more realistic movies than the claymations or the cartoons. So I'm gonna grab, so fitting for this, this is the Strobe Cosmetics Creepy Cute Palette. Such a great brand because this has grays, light purples, and a matte black that's wonderful. But I have this yard here too, just in case. I don't like textures as much. This is perfect for Halloween if you're going and getting your supplies from, you know, drugstores because every company out there makes some gray black eyeshadows for more natural smoky eyeshadow looks. I guess not natural, more smoky. So I'm just going in with the fluffy blending brush, putting in the tombstone color on this. It's like the matte gray. And I'm just gonna tap it around the socket of my eye and up here too. Again, tap it, the excess, ooh, that's a lot. Didn't tap enough. That one looks a little too dark. Getting my powder brush. It's like we didn't even make a mistake. And you can get your leftover beauty blender sponge. Getting some light lavender. Putting it right where you would have baggy eyes. Getting some of the matte black eyeshadow with a tiny blending brush. Putting that on the bottom lash line. And on a little bit on the upper at lash line as well. Now she doesn't have crazy eyelashes, so I'm going to just curl my lashes. Just gonna do the basic eye look and put some mascara on it. I don't know if she has a lot of curl pretty lashes, but I'm gonna just use my Holy Grail mascara and curl these lashes. My lashes are like elephant lashes. They're long, but they're straight. They're not that thick either. It's weird. If you want to know what my Holy Grail mascara is, again, they put too much on the salon. It is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It is just like the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, but in my opinion, it works better. And it's a lot cheaper. Okay, now it's time for contour. My favorite contour palette for looks like this is the Lunatic Cosmetics Labs contour because they have cool and warm tone contours and they have blushes in here and matte highlight powders. You can mix these to make it as cool as you want for your contour. We're gonna go pretty cool tone since this is, of course, a Tim Burton character. This could be a mistake, but I'm gonna do it anyways. We're gonna contour our nose. I rarely contour my nose. 
now that our contour on our nose is done, I'm just putting some contour on the cheekbones just to make it look a little bit more sunken in. And cream contour really does help with the, these steps, especially on the nose. My favorite cream contour is the Graftobian creams. Now, if you have a lace black doily to put around your neck, good. I don't, so I'm gonna paint it. Getting some black aqua paint, and I'm gonna get a fan brush. Perfect. That's the texture I'm looking for. You want something that's kind of see-through? And then we could go in with detail. Honestly, any black choker would do, probably. I just don't carry choker necklaces because if you've seen my videos, I don't like stuff around my neck that close, so we're just gonna paint it. I'd rather have paint there. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm weird. Sweet! I could always tell how old I am by how the hair dryer reacts to the skins and folds around my neck. Now what I noticed is Miss Monona Ryder has more sadder eyebrows than I do, so we are going to make the sadness appear with concealer. You need a black outfit. I would suggest a cloak, even a witch's cloak would be great. And the most important thing is you need a wig with bangs. We're gonna style this wig and I'm gonna have a hat. It's a whole ordeal. So I got some gel. You know that gel that all the kids in middle school wore that were like into sports and kind of bullyish? That's the kind of gel you want. You know they had like those tubs of gels and stuff? Yeah, that's the kind of gel that Lydia wears. I know her, she probably just gets the cheap gel. I'm just using this Studio L'Oreal. You know L'Oreal owns the souls of everyone. And I don't have like a big brim hat, but I do got a witch's hat that'll work. And that's the makeup, beauty makeup look side of Miss Lydia Deeds from Beetlejuice. I hope you guys enjoyed it if you're doing this for Halloween. I feel like, you know how there's cool mom? Miss Lydia Dietz's mom was like the weirdest cool mom of them all. You know, you could just find an old camera at the thrift store with this and you're done. But you know, me, I'm be extra. We're gonna do another step, take it further. We're gonna paint a camera on some shrimp hands. It's gonna be great. This is a look. Lydia Dietz is fashion aesthetic goals, in my opinion. And if you have a handbook for the recently deceased, I would get that. You know, I've got one because like I said, I'm a huge fan. Who doesn't have one? Of course I do. All right, now for part two. Let's take all this off to do the body pain and ooh. Don't worry, I'm not naked. I got this, a strapless top. Now. To make this really unique, you could do this with the beauty makeup, but I'm going to get this light green to do that cast of the under the door green cast to show up on her face. You know what I'm talking about. If you've seen the movie, you know what it is. That green light from the door to the other side. We're going to do that on the face with just some light green eyeshadow. Again, I'm just dipping into that Strobe Cosmetics Creepy Cute Palette in the color Take a Hint. I'm not being mean, that's the name of the color. <laughs> I'm gonna get some of the translucent powder to blend, knock some of the color down. I don't want it too saturated. Now for the Nikon camera. What we're gonna do is get some black aqua pine up in here, and we're gonna start painting the camera. I'm not gonna do the straps because I'm gonna have something holding the camera up instead of Miss Lydia dudes. So there's two components to this camera. There's this little clicker thing. Reference pictures are really going to help for this. And then we're gonna do the rest of the body of this camera. You want your paint to be not too thin and not super thick because it'll skip. Now for the shrimp, pink is the color of choice to paint these shrimp hands. So the finger parts of the shrimps are pink, but the rest of it's like that bright red crustacean color. And the tips of the fingers of the shrimp hands from the movie are red as well. So getting the red, just gonna paint that on the tips 
and onto the camera a little. I might do the, this cream so it'll go nicely over the aqua so it won't bleed. I swear to you, these Wolf Brother paints are so good. It's a beautiful shade of red to match my allergy rashes. I need a salmon color to get some of these shrimps to make some highlight marks to really make it look like shrimp hands. And we're gonna get some orange cream paint as a well to make the shrimp hands come to life. It's like a mix of salmon, pink, red, and orange, the shrimp hands. Now with some of the red cream paint, I am going to do the tips of the shrimps, flapping its little shrimp fingers onto the camera because it's holding this camera. Hi, do you need a job of someone to draw shrimp hands? I'm the girl for you. Look at this beautiful artwork. I did a shrimp hands. Oh yeah, you know, I was just on Marie Claire magazine. Can you guys believe that? I can't, be that's a true fact. That was on Instagram. I'm surprised I didn't do an article about me doing, you know, Shrimp hands. Well, because it hasn't come out yet, but I'm trying to think of another weird makeup I've done. Now, we need to go into some black aqua paint with a fine tip brush to really do the outlines of these sewn together shrimps. I like how they made it look a little realistic. Like they made the shrimp hands sewn. Like pieces of shrimps sewn together. So that's what we're doing here is the outline of the sewn together shrimps. This is what I feel like takes the longest. When you're doing body paints, as you can see, I like to color block, meaning I'll lay down color, shadows, texture, and then I'll outline and then do more shadow probably. I'll do that with some eyeshadow. I hope you guys appreciate this makeup. I could only film late at night now because of the summer time. This makeup studio has no AC because it's too loud, but it really annoys me. Gosh, I should have done this one first because now I have to cross and smear my armpits together. Never thought I'd have to say that on a job. Smear my armpits. It'd be great if they had shrimp hand napkin holders for Halloween parties. Someone, box lunch, my favorite company, get on it. Hot Topic, get on it. Spirit Halloween, you're shady, but get on it. Ooh, we should do like a white flash right here. Ding! I also need some matte gray and black eyeshadow to do some detail where like it folds and the shrimp hands like are sewn together it has shadow all right let's do the outline of the nikon camera this is the difficult level of the game gosh darn it if you mess up you just put black over it wait for it to dry do it again there's another smaller nikon to be more difficult up here man this makes me hate logos I'm so silent and concentrated. Trying to draw a perfect circle is like, I feel defeated just starting it. And I'm doing the little red record beeper button thing that's here. This is so hard. I'm sure as you can guess. Let's get our hair piece back on. Miss Lydia Deeds. I look crazy. Girl, what happened to your bang? Let's make this right. Gotta put a hat back on. Oh, I'm glad I got this shawl. That's just my scream mask outfit. She needs more gel. We need to gel her up. If you're going to Halloween like this, don't do, and you don't want to do the body painting, but the hair, make sure you got some gel in your purse. Oh my gosh, what if you had a purse that was like a camera looking purse bag? Now I want a camera purse bag. A purse that looks like an authentic vintage camera. That'd be amazing. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me turning into Lydia Deeds from the amazing movie Beetlejuice by Tim Burton. We have the shrimp hands grasping onto her camera to take pictures of the deadly, well, ghosts. Leave me a comment on what other Halloween videos you would love to see. You could definitely do this Lydia Deeds makeup without all the shrimps. All the products I use in this video will be listed down below in the description box as always. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love the touch of green on the eyes as the door is opening and the light is coming from underneath the door to the other side. Subscribe for more videos like this and I do beauty makeups here as well. Two videos a week. I can't wait to show you guys more. Now it's time for me to take this off. <sighs> I need the baby wipes. It's so hot, it feels so good to rub baby wipes on my face. Ah, oh, all that artwork gone. It's gone. If I had the time to make a spooky shop of like crafts, I would. 
And I would definitely make bags out of cigar boxes that look like old fashioned cameras. That sounds like Inception on Etsy, but I'd do it. Do you guys know what you're gonna be for Halloween this year yet? I'm already brainstorming ideas. I would love to know your thoughts. I look forward to Halloween every year. I rarely get to dress up anymore though cause I'm always working. I can't wait to show you these huge projects I'm working on with big stuff. That's all I could say. Can't say anymore, they're secret projects. But now it's time for me to go and I got to, you know, shower all this red off. Although people just might think my whole body is infected with something, but it's okay. I'm used to it. Love you guys. See you in the next video. Bye creators.